Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9. Welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. The party's rested up. Ryu has one additional level. And we're gonna go ahead and move on. And Shadow Walk. The Adept. Because it's more dangerous because of the spells. Uh, we're going to be heading further into uh, Mira Station. There's some stairs right down this hall. That's where we'll be going. And there have been a few questions in the comments that I'd just like to talk about now while we wait for this battle to end. <laughs> Just so I'm saying something. <laughs> um, there are two, you could call them super enemies. Um, some would, would call them super bosses in the game. You can actually find them already. They're in the, they're in the container yard. If you remember, you could choose the container yard to go to with the uh, teleport system. You know, where you walk into the portals. There's all of that. And there's a few other things that people have been asking about that I'm not really really sure. I may show off the uh, the super bosses. Ray became level 30. 7 HP, 1 AP, 5 power, 4 defense, 1 agility. Honestly, I'm I could do it. You need a lot of prep to do those. To do those super bosses. It's not something I'm keen on doing just because it'll take me some time to to get everybody ready to do. Um, they're not hard if you have the right setup. It's just... I don't know. It would take me time and... I'd like to move on to a new LP. <laughs> I love Breath of Fire 3, but everything's got to end at some point. Every LP's got to end at some point. And Shadow Walk the Nightmare. Uh, one more thing to note in this place is the Death Bot. The Death Bot can use a skill called Triple Blow. It's just what it sounds like. We have double blow. It's like that, except, well, it hits three times instead of two. Uh, you can learn that from the death bot. There we go. Ryu actually resisted. I mean, get rid of the nightmare. And continue hitting the death bot. The thing with the death bot is you have to wait for it because it wants to use all of its buff spells and then it will start using triple blow. Okay. As you can see, the floor is color coded. There's a green floor and a orange floor. Uh, this actually matters. It's basically leading you to two different areas. Um, I believe we want to go to this yellow one first. So let's head this way. And you can't speed this up, so we're going to take a little ride. Um, as for the super boss's names, I believe it's uh, Arch Magi and Berserker. From the... Arc Magi, you can actually get something really cool. You get something called the uh, Holy Avenger. Which, yeah, Holy Avenger is always awesome in games. New enemies, by the way. Um, it is a dagger that both Ryu and Rei can use. So it's actually a great weapon for Rei. Uh, you can get that from the... Arch Magi. Uh, they got a ton of HP. Is the deal with those. 
quote, super bosses, unquote. Or super encounters. Uh, they have a ton of HP, it could do a ton of damage. That's their biggest, uh, their biggest point. If you want to fight them, uh, some of the suggestions I can give. This is another thing I really didn't show off that I probably should have, but I don't know if I'm going to just take the time to do it because it's, it just, again, takes a lot of time. Um, and that is to uh, find the the kids from Windia and get the formations if you uh, train under them for three levels. There is one formation that is highly useful if you want to go after the the uh, really tough those uh, really tough mobs, and that is the chain formation. I forget which which one gives the chain formation. Uh, what happens is whoever's in the lead. So let's put Ray in the lead, for example, with this 50-something agility. The other two party members' agility will equal that. Which is really useful. I know I have some swallow's eyes because of the desert. Make Ryu a little faster. And I'm going to use some of these shards. I haven't used any. So, Ryu, who's normally really slow, will be just as fast as Ray. This is pretty neat, unless you just over level. I'm talking about taking on these fights at a level like I'm at, 35 ish. The balance ring protects against confusion, by the way. I wanted to show that off. Um. Your wounds are healed, and you feel completely refreshed. Yeah, as you can see, this is a uh, healing room. You could, uh, you could call it. It's really cool. Keep this room in mind. It's another way to heal. As you see, if I go to the menu, everybody's full on everything. Uh, because you want to be faster than the enemy, so... When you take those, uh super bosses on and the chain formation will help all your party members be the same speed so you'll have to have ray be really fast speaking of ray being really fast one of the nightmare was it a nightmare uh, ah, i've forgotten i didn't write it down i'm sorry one of the mobs that we were fighting before the nightmare the armor the adept i want to say it was the nightmare dropped the burglar garb it's a drop that they have it has just one less defense. It doesn't have the defense up versus psionics like the force armor. But it weighs nothing, and it raises agility. So you get a lot of agility out of the burglar guard. Let's see, six. I believe it gives six agility. Or five agility. Five agility. Gives five agility. <laughs> Math. <laughs> Um, it does give you uh, five agility, which is really useful. Plus, it weighs nothing, so you'll get any agility from the uh, from the th that you would have lost from your heavier armor. Inside here is a holy robe, blessed armor. It doesn't raise int, so Nina's gonna lose the 5 int, but she'll have more defense. I can't remember exactly what the Holy Rope does. I just remember it's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we just wanna... Follow the yellow brick road, you could say. Yes, I said that. Ice Drake. I think Inferno works really well. We'll find out. So you'll start seeing some different... Hadorana! 
some different monsters here. See how well that works. Pretty well. All the all the enemies in here hit really hard. That's <laughs> That's the problem. So that's why I'm hitting hard back with Ray and using Shadow Walk and the big spells. Expect to take damage unless all your characters are really quick. And you can do way more damage than I am. Um like I said, just remember that I'm probably under-leveled for this part. Shock Panel Settings Monitor. Set which panel has a current by aligning the pluses and minuses. Uh, let's see. Take a look around. So basically, what you're going to do is you're trying to. You'll be changing the panels here. You'll be changing the the electricity. And by doing that, you will create a path to, uh, to go through. Shock experiment area. Use the three monitors to. Set which panels carry a current. Danger! Don't enter area while panels are active. Well, we're gonna have to do that. <laughs> but we're gonna try to make a path for ourselves. I'll uh, just charge. Watch enemy! Bye. There should be some more panels here. See, those don't count. Inside here, a free ammonia. That's good. Blue tiger, blizzard, and shadow. I see there's uh, two panels in here, one in the, uh, the other room. Mighty Chop! Which is just a fancy attack. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see. Shock panel settings monitor, which panel, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, which one do I want? How do I want it, I should say? Hey, see, you can move it uh, left or right. Um, I think we want it like that. So you'll see that some of them will become empty and some of them will become charged. Shot panel settings monitor. Okay, I think I want... Because those will line up. So you see that the on the top, the four minuses and the four pluses are going to line up. So watch. Uh, 
Hopefully you can see it coming to place. It's it's really hard to explain this part, and I'm really sorry. Um, a lot of people, honestly, because you can walk through, you just get poisoned. I believe is how it works. You can, uh... I think I set this one right. I believe so. I think I already have this one right. And there should be a path we can take now. Yeah, hopefully you can see the path. That's all there is to it. A lot of people won't even bother and just run through the electricity. You just take damage. It's not like you get pushed back or anything. Which is interesting, because once you understand what's going on, it's not, uh, not too hard of a puzzle. Read that. What am I doing? <laughs> Floor is flashing with sparks and looks dangerous. Do you go in? Yes. Now we just move along the path. And there we go. And I guess they just follow? <laughs> like, oh, okay, if we follow for you exactly and don't step on the spark places, We'll be fine. <laughs> it's a switch for the lift. Do you press it? No, because we're down here. Oh, great. Thy strength does no frost breath. Which is very dangerous when it has a lot of HP. Because we know that's how... How Frost Breath works. Let's see. Hope I remember this right. <laughs> if I'm not remembering it right, then it's not going to be good for the party. As you can see, you can use the Royal Sword as an item. Nope! <laughs> the Royal Sword's the attack one. One of the items we have uh, works as a... as a, a res item. At least I think so. Of course I didn't remember that one right, so I'm sure that was funny for all of you. <laughs> I couldn't choose this. Maybe it's the Ouroboros. It might be. Okay, uh, let's head down. There's some... Should be an item around here. At least I thought so. Huh. Let's continue on. And Shadow Walk. Mighty Chop. Ray's not really getting a chance to attack, but it's... I'm okay with that. Because <laughs> if something messes up, then he can... 
you can save the day. Let's head up here. Switch the lift. Do you press it? Yes, this should take us to a treasure chest. Please board the lift. You'll automatically board the lift if you press the button. Yep. And inside here, you find the slicer. Critical blow percentage up, so it gives a uh, higher chance to crit. Uh, make a note. If I remember right, the uh, weapon property, this weapon property anyway, um, some weapon properties stay after you transform. This is one of them, I believe. The, you'll keep the critical percent chance up. Uh, plus, it's just stronger than the heavy dagger. Uh, if you went and got the Holy Avenger, it's way better than this. <laughs> it has 120 attack power or something like that. But uh, the slicer's a good weapon. Pick it up uh, for Ray if you're, if you're using him. Okay. Let's go inside the room. Gas experiment. Experiment with sleep gas under a way. Stop gas before entering room. Oh, I gotta go back and do that. So let's head back. We have to stop the gas first. Let's see, is it down this way? Shadow Walk. Good day, buddy. At least that gets rid of the clones. <laughs> in Mirror Station love status effects. That's something you should know. So, if you did get some Ivory Charms, that'll give you some protection, which is nice. And why well, it's a good idea to, to have all the party members equipped with one before you come in here. I do not, but uh, trust me, it's a really good idea. Oh, there's a treasure chest here. Ivory dice. Okay, that means I have to go back to the intersection. Okay. We'll get there. <laughs> we just have to fight our way back. Uh, if it starts to look really dicey, don't panic. Oh, there's a red drake now. Obviously, the Red Drake will use a uh, fire, fire attack. He's Blizzard anyway. Just shadow walk you. Obviously, the Ice Drake doesn't take as much damage from uh, water attacks. Or cold attacks. Appraisal, well! <laughs> oh, duh. Pushed him one too many times. Nina got a bunch of agility, and Ray leveled up as well. Two power, five defense, two agility, four HP. Okay, let's check down here first then. I think I got ahead of myself. Do that. Shadow walk. And if things start to look dicey for your party, don't forget you can always start backtracking and head back to the healing room. It's not that far of a walk. Hooray! Yeah, 
up. And Nina's gonna stay knocked out because Ryu is not fast enough. Maybe if he's casting a spell, he is. Resurrect! Which is the bigger race dead spell. Nope! Darn it. That's the biggest problem with Nina here. Uh, what always happens to her character, she ends up not having enough defense to survive. Or enough HP for that matter. Especially if you if you build her to have an enough enough intelligence, the stat, to be able to do damage. Well, I might as well turn off the gas. Thing, which is through here. Found skilling. Nope, that's not right either. Great. Um. Uh. Well, now I don't remember. So. <laughs> I thought I was going the right way, and that's obviously not the case. Per usual, right? <laughs> um, tell you what, I need to go heal Nina anyway, so I'm just gonna end this episode here, and next time we will. I'll start to where we where we need to go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. You got to see some new enemies, a little more of Mira Station. Uh, like I said, this place is pretty big, and we've got some tough fights in here as well. So, until the next time where I get us to where we need to be. <laughs> I'm Cinder A9. Remember to shoot for the stars, and take care, everyone.